two members of the real Von Trapp family, Johannes and Sam. Welcome. It's Welcome. lovely to talk to you. Um, th thank you very much indeed for joining us. And we talk about the most idyllic life. Uh, you, um, you've actually got your... Uh, beautiful family lodge in Stowe in Vermont. It's called the, the, the Trap Family Lodge. Um, so an Austrian-style mountain ski resort opens since 1950, which we'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, I think, we're, Johannes uh, uh, or Sam, we're in one of your houses now with that beautiful fireplace. I mean, this looks like, like the ideal life, but here you are, pretty much I'd have thought, day after day after day, having to talk about the sound of music. <laughs> Yet again, <laughs> you, you, as we say here, you so, understand perfect. Yeah, absolutely. So, so tell us, uh, tell us then it, it, the impact that it has had on all on your lives all this time after. Well, I, I have to say that I can't remember a time when my family wasn't well known, if not perhaps actually famous, but. Uh, the Sound of Music, we were, we were well known among a small group of people who enjoyed the kind of music that we did. Uh, Baroque, uh, classical music, uh, Gregorian chant, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, uh, The Sound of Music just opened us up to the whole world. And all of a sudden, were coming to our little house here in northern Vermont, and we weren't prepared to deal with it, really. It's amazing that there's actually 10 of you and not seven. You learn something new every day. Um, now, your family has got an amazing, incredible story of, uh, of morality. You know, they fled Austria when the Nazis invaded. Did they ever talk about any of that with you? You know, very little. As I was growing up, um, my family was always looking ahead, uh, not looking behind. And uh, there were many things that I didn't learn until I read my mother's book, uh, which, of course, is what German film was based on, which is what the, <laughs> uh, the Broadway play was based on the German film. And then the Hollywood movie was based on the Broadway play, which was based on the German film, which was based on the book that my mother wrote. So. Uh, each time the story perhaps got modified a bit, and uh, it's clearly not a documentary of my family. No, but um, it's been a wonderful. And, and I think probably quite important to say that as well, because as as Josie was saying, then real morality with your your father yeah. stood by his beliefs, uh, refused um, very high profile naval commissions uh, from the Nazis, uh, refused to 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 sing at uh, Adolf Hitler's birthday party. Um, but in the movie, climb every mountain, and uh, you know off they go over the top of the mountains. They all sneak away at the end of a performance, one by one. Um, none of that happened. Your family actually were allowed to. There, is, there was no great mountain climb. They got on a train and they left and they were allowed to. We got on a train and into Italy. Um, I will say the next day the border was closed and we would not have been able to leave. So we left just in time. Um, and from Genoa, we took a ship to New York City. Uh, my mother had a contract in hand with a concert promoter and manager in New York City. And we arrived there with, I think, $5. Uh, but we had this contract for performances, and so everything else is history. Well, so, Sam, you are, you know, sort of son of um, uh, next generation. Uh, we, we talked right at the very beginning of this chat about it being, you know, it's obviously given you a very nice living. You've got a, your beautiful lodge. Um, but, uh, but for you, you've only seen it twice. Um, is it is it a is it a nightmare to be associated with? <laughs> you, you know, it's not. It's just I think as a kid we had a complicated relationship with the sound of music. We were a little bit confused when people would appear to know our family story, and we couldn't understand why. Because when we would ask about it at home, we were told that oh, don't worry about it. It's just some small story about our family. So um, I did see it uh, once when I was about seven or eight. And again, uh, when I was in my early 20s. And I've seen the play many times. It is a beautiful musical. Uh, and I have to say, the music of Rodgers and Hammerstein, I believe, is what gives it such long-lasting power. How many times have you both seen the film? Because I've seen it loads. 
Well, so Sam, we said twice, but twice. Johannes, this is the this is the big one for you. How many times have you actually seen the film? I've I've seen it several times. <laughs> And um, people actually come to your family lodge and they still expect to see the Von Trapp children singing, is that right? Sometimes that happens. Where are the children? <laughs> no way. What do you say I'm to 80. them? I'm the youngest and I'm 82, so... Uh, <laughs> what you do actually, I say? You've actually got a book. I know that you put a book in each of the rooms at the lodge so that people who ask the questions, hopefully this will answer most of them, and, uh, and they get in there, each one gets the book, each one can flick through, and then maybe they don't have to bother you quite so much. It's, it's not just bothering me or my son, but uh, our staff has a hard time getting rooms cleaned and meals served if they have to answer questions about the sound of music. But it's a good opportunity as well th for us to let people know about the history tours, and then we can, we can direct them to uh, a spot where we can answer all the questions to a whole group, save ourselves a little time. Amazing. And Sam, your um, grandma, Maria, actually starred in the film alongside Julie Andrews. I mean, how was that for you? Well, she had a small cameo where she uh, where she walked through in the background at one point, but she did have a good relationship uh, with Julie Andrews. And I have to say, I heard nothing but positive things about Julie from the cast who played the children in the movie as well. Oh, lovely. It's lovely to talk to you both. Thank you for, Thank uh, you. for talking to Thank us today. You. Good luck now that you're reopened after the pandemic. I can imagine it's not it wasn't easy for anyone who had hotels or lodges or whatever. And so... Uh, it sounds perfect to me. Snow's coming down in the mountains, yeah. a lodge, blazing log fire. We might have to go, Phil. Yeah, you'll be the one that gets sent. You know that. I always end up here. You'll go with Alison. Well, they, they, they brew their own Austrian beer, so I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Thank you.